we are going to go over the 15 images that we feel like tell the story of the Tennessee Georgia game. And I'm going to tell you the story behind the photos. We're going to start with uh, I need to write this down because a lot of times I start talking and I forget what time I put the image up. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Stetson Bennett scoring a touchdown. We're going to get this image a little bit later. Uh, this is actually three of our 15 images because it was just such an exceptional play. Um, I wonder out there, um, it, you know, people want to always learn how to fly. I wonder if birds could run, would they want to run like Stetson Bennett? Now, this guy, it is crazy how he can escape. Right here, he's turned on the jets, slowed down, and then turned the jets on again to hit the pylon, as you can see, with two hands. This shot was hit with, uh, excuse me, this uh, image was taken with a remote camera. Uh, we used to call it a trick camera um, back in the day. Uh, that's not really what it is. It's an actual camera. It's a little bit gra uh, grainy compared to some of the other images, but it's extremely low, and you see everybody in the background. It just shows Stetson's athleticism. It's not surprising he gets around the corner on everybody. He, he's just exceptional on the ground. Our second shot, Arian Smith running right, bas right past people. Um, in this case, We've actually got another image of this as well. Ryan Curley took this shot. Look at those colors pop off the screen. I mean, I, you know, people say, oh, I don't like Tennessee's orange. I mean, I like their all white uniforms better, but that's me. Um, this image, of course, Arian caught this ball, couldn't quite get away for the touchdown. This, this image was shot elevated with a 600 millimeter lens um, and a Nikon D4. That's what we use in our basic getup. We do this at most Georgia games. Um, of course, the rain came later. Ryan never has to deal with the rain. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But he really popped this shot. Um, that's what you want when you're elevated. You should get these images. He did. Um, just because you should doesn't mean you do. But uh, it's a great shot. Look how good that grass looks, y'all. I mean, that is just awesome. Here's uh, the third shot. We go up high again. A lot of these are elevated. This is deep in the, as you can see from the sort of fog, this is deeper in the game. Um, uh, what's the score? 27 to something. It might be to six. There was this fear out there, um, and Georgia fans are really comfortable with fear. They're used to that. Uh, thanks, Larry Munson. But um, in this case, uh, there was this worry about Tennessee folks taking you know having a lot of seats in the stadium they might have had six thousand people it, it was not a lot they didn't have 10. um georgia way way outnumbered the balls and that's another story for another day but uh, tennessee has been sending tickets back to georgia for some time and i think um at some point um you know you just don't get the ability to buy them anymore and when you need them you don't have, they're not there that, that's my suspicion now, i don't know that um, but there were not as many tennis. There, there were dots of, of orange, just not a ton. This is uh, one, you know, two corners that are, well, two defensive backs that totally understand what it's like, not like to be on the knife's edge. Um, one more than the other, I have to say, in this in this case, just because of the position and the assignment. I mean, Keely Ringo really did play well on Saturday. And this is an embrace from Kirby um, and Keely. I I hear what people say. I don't repeat it. I do my best actually to scrub audio if I think it's too sensitive, quite frankly. Um, and that's what the case was post game for me here. Um, again, look how nice the grass is. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Keely and Kirby embracing. Look how strong that um, grip is that Kirby's got on on Keely. I mean, that's um, Keely really had to play well, and he did. And we're going to get to more of Keely in a minute here, but. He was very happy with Keely Ringo and uh, Lassiter as well. They both really played about as well as you could. Another elevated shot. Um, this is, I am pretty certain, that I, well, this is the shot uh, from Stetson Bennett to Ladd McConkie. Uh, in this uh, image, uh, Georgia is about to sort of take a hold of the game. You cannot see Broderick Jones. But he is whipping whoever's ass is in front of him outside the frame. Stetson stepped into the throw. I mean, Stetson can throw the football. And uh, this is just an elevated shot with the G in the background. Um, we, we like these images for stuff like books. 
And um, obviously we're having an event later with Keeley in the month. This is the reason why we take these because they look exceptional in books. So check that out. Uh, all the details are down below. I know I'm rolling through these pictures, but we like these images because it shows up top what it really looks like, the space. And look how much, there is no defender near him. This is, <laughs> this is, this is what I'm talking about. So these two are clearly like homeboys, buddies, practice, whatever. I don't, sh I can't show y'all all the frames because we'd be here literally for probably a, a week. Um, Broderick has just whipped somebody pretty good. And um, Stetson's thrown the touchdown. So for about six frames, Broderick Jones is just cross arm and kind of shifting his weight back and forth. Well, Stetson, I think, has just noticed this. Because the quarterbacks in shooting photography and college football, often the quarterbacks run down the field. Matthew Stafford did a lot, Aaron Murray. They don't always, though. And I always look for Stetson Bennett. And in this case, he stayed with his buddy in the backfield. We got a little bit more about this in the future. Um, but these two are partying uh, at about the 40-yard line. I thought it was a really neat image that we shot with in a remote. I told you I was going to get the Keeley. This is an awesome picture from Ryan. So Ryan Curley nailed this shot. Um, and, you know, I can say all I want to about how you should nail shots from up top. but with as fast as Tennessee goes and all of that, yada, yada. I mean, this is a beautiful image. He did a very good job. I, I'm not super pumped up that some of the folks in the sideline were in it at the bottom right corner. But, you know, you don't want to get too picky with photos. That Keeley caught this ball shows his athleticism um, and shows his ball skills. This is a great momentum shifting play that has got everything in it. All limbs are extended. We've got the orange gloves. We've got the ball. We've got all extensions of the Tennessee player. Uh, we can see every hand except Keeley's left hand. Awesome picture. Great. <laughs> Even better, um, if that's possible. And we're gonna we're gonna get to mine here in a second. I mean, th if this doesn't encapsulate that game. I don't know what image does. Again, the grass is beautiful. <laughs> but when I was talking about birds wondering what it's like to run, I mean, some birds do run. Everyone should be able to run like Stetson Bennett. Like at some point in your life, you should be able to run that way. I bet is the most freeing experience ever. I bet it's like I bet it's like taking off on a skateboard going like 40 miles an hour or something like that. Look at how high his leg is. They could not catch the guy. I know I couldn't. I, none of us could. This is a beautiful image from Ryan up top. Now you should get it. And we're tough over here at Dog Post, but that's a great picture. That 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 shows that game. Here's my image from that. And this shows what it was like downstairs. Um, hand in the face. This is slightly before Ryan's image. And um, just, we, I mean, look, we nailed it. This shot is a, uh, a Nikon Z9. Came out this year. A Nikon Z9 mirrorless camera. That means the shutter does not go. There is no shutter. So I turn off the volume. I don't know. I have to see that the image is getting shot. And right here, Stetson, hand to the face. Um if there's a Heisman moment, this was his Heisman moment. If if the, if 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 Stetson gets to New York, it will be this play. Uh, Georgia, yes, you can use our images. You you just uh, just let let me know. I'll get you the originals. But this, I mean, this is well shot. If I do say so myself, that is with a Z9 and a 500 millimeter with him sweeping around the right hand side. Okay, more of Stetson and Broderick Jones. I mean. It would be a lot of fun if you're a three, uh, you know, two, well, 300 pound guy like Broderick Jones to take a 180 pound, 190 pound quarterback who is leaping into your arms and dirty dance him after, uh, after a touchdown. Uh, th look at the colors. Th what I mean by that is the light. You don't get this kind of light at other stadiums because of the way the sun sets at Georgia specifically. Um, in Jacksonville, you get really good light. This is exceptional light 
And we will not, we probably will not have it for the Georgia Tech game just because of when that game is played in late November. If it's an early afternoon game, like at noon, we might get this light. Look at look at the how blurred out again. This is a uh, a Z9 with a uh, uh, F4 500 aperture is F4 a 500 millimeter lens on a monopod for you photo nerds. Right on top of us. This is Lad McConkey after that big touchdown. Um, look, I bought another Z9. Why? Because y'all support us and you deserve great images. This is a Z9 um, shoulder, or what we'd call handheld, I guess, um, shot. This is just after Lab McConkey scored the touchdown. He's dropped the ball. Um, I missed the original shot. I did not get the, the camera in focus quick enough. But I recovered in time for him to come right on top of us. This is taken with a Nikon Z9, uh, an 80 to 200 millimeter uh, lens. I'm I'm imagining it's at 70 millimeter, 80 millimeters. I don't. I, it's not at 200. Uh, look at the background, blurred out. I mean, it's at f4. I can tell you that right now, photographers. I, I'm not good enough to shoot at 2.8, quite frankly. But um, he he was extremely pumped. The story there, of course, and we're going to roll on to a shot of Lad right here. You know, Lad McConkey grew up a Tennessee fan. The family are huge ten Tennessee people. And um, here he is dancing through the rain. And after the game, Kirby Smart, Georgia's head coach, said that if you let him, Lad McConkey would run until his tongue fell out. These little guys with all this energy, when I played sports, they drive me crazy. I hated them. Because, you know, as a big person, you just want to get down low and bang them and all this. Stuff. I mean, like, you don't want to run around in space. Does this look like a lot of fun right here? You're in the rain. You got some guy who can sort of dance on air, literally, uh, that you're trying to chase down. You might be fast, but he's quicker and faster. He, Lad McConkey is no fun. I would not invite him to a party, period. But he can fly. And he had a, a, a great game against his childhood team. This is uh, Arian Smith again. Um, this is the bottom image of that. A clear shot. It's it's nothing exceptional. It's great what's called jubilation. Uh, you can see everybody's hanging out. Look, the guy from Tennessee just got beat. It happens. At least he didn't give up a touchdown. But look at the veins in his arms. Look at that expression, the screaming. The, the, the athletes have to compose themselves to complete the task at hand. And when they know they've completed it, they let go a huge roar of emotion, sound, you, know, you can't hear people because the, 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 on the field, you do hear a lot of sound. Even the way Sanford Stadium is, it's not exactly conducive to, to keeping sound in. Um, when Georgia makes a huge play, you hear it. And in this case, Arian Smith hit the first big play of the game for Georgia. Um, against the, the, This is number one game versus number one. Number one Georgia versus number one Tennessee. It's the only third time in college football history that's happened. I want to talk about this image. I might talk about it for a second or two. This is Stetson Bennett, Georgia's quarterback. And, you know, having covered Georgia for a long time, uh, 20 plus, 22 years or so, you know, I, I, I noticed the quarterbacks more than anybody. I watched the quarterbacks more than anybody. You know, they are the heartbeat. They are the soul of the, of the team. And I, I've never seen Stetson do this before. And I asked him about it after the game. Right here, he is literally pacing back and forth while Tennessee has the ball on offense. And he is looking at the Tennessee sideline. The, this, I don't know if he's trying to see what they're talking about or doing on defense. But I asked him about it after the game. I, I mean, I'm a reporter too, as most of you know. And um, he told me that he wanted to make sure that everybody was ready. Here's his exact quote. This, again, this is Stetson Bennett's uh, fifth year of college football. He said, I was ready to roll. Uh, it was a big game. We knew that they could get hot at any second. They're dangerous. The guys they have, the quarterback they have, talking about Hen and Hooker, they are super dangerous. If our guys see me walking on the sideline, getting ready to go, they will know, all right, we have some, we have some urgency here. We have to go down there and score again. Georgia knew they were in a fight. There, there was just no confusion about it. 
And Stetson wanted to convey to his guys, hey, we've got to be ready at all times. We cannot screw around at all, or Tennessee will come down the field, score, and we're going to be in a ball game. We don't want that. So he kept pacing. I just, I didn't know, I, I'd never seen that before from Stetson Bennett, and I thought it was something, there's a story behind it. Here's our final image. Look, the game was getting close to the end. I ran inside after getting soaked, and I came back outside with my um, Z9, and I have a 14 to 24 millimeter. It's a super wide lens. It is an awesome lens. <laughs> That's what I shot the Keeley Ringo and, and Kirby Smart image with. This is what it looked like at, at the end of the game. That that dark, rainy sky without rain. The Charlie Trippy signature. Vince's signature was on the other side. Georgia honoring legends. And um, Tennessee was trying to score here at the end of the game. And Georgia kind of stopped them. But there's not been a lot of moments like this at Sanford Stadium. But this was one of them. Number one versus number one. We've only seen it three times in history. The game was not an epic game. We know that. But um, it was a lot of fun. And I, I think the images show the emotion of the players. You know, this this round was heavy on Stetson and heavy on Lavaconky. Well, if you're making plays, then that's what happens. I think the picture of Stetson elevated. Uh, it's either the picture I took of Stetson scoring the touchdown or the picture that, that Ryan took of elevated shooting down with the Tennessee guy with his face mask in the ground. It, the, one of those two images probably tells the story of the game. But, man, that shot at Keely Ringo is awesome. I mean, if his leg were a little bit more extended, it would be even better. But I, I did want to share this. We have an event with Keeley coming up on uh, November 20th. We're running out of tickets. Please order your tickets now. The, they're down below. I know a lot of y'all want to meet Keeley, and you can do that. You get a book included, but we're running out of time, and the information is down below. That's a look at our images of the week against for Georgia and Tennessee. Clash of number ones, and the dogs came out on top.